Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and it's time for book five and country five. Let's see which book it is. I totally forgot that this one was in there. I'm so excited. After my last one, which was a dud for me, I think this is gonna really pick me back into reading. It's Climbing the Stairs by Padma Vet. Venkatraman. Um, this I've had for a long time on my shelf but I heard from somebody else how good it was. It's set in India I believe. Um, it says on the back, 15 year old Vidya dreams of going to college, an unusual aspiration for a girl living in British occupied India during World War II. But then tragedy strikes and Vidya and her family are forced to live with their relatives in a traditional household where women are meant to be married, not educated. Breaking the rules, she finds solace in her grandfather's library. Here she meets Raman, who treats Vidya like an equal and encourages her education. Then Vidya's brother leaves unexpectedly and Vidya's life gets caught up in the political and personal turmoil. In the midst of all this chaos, will Vidya be able to hold on to her dreams and make them a reality? So I'm really excited about this one and um, it's not too long, it's relatively big writing, not that that makes much of a difference, uh, but it's only a couple of hundred pages and oh, I'm yeah, I'm really excited. So think Fingers crossed this is a good one. Let's find out what gifts uh, Janet picked for this. Okay, so here is my India piece of paper. So I'm gonna open this first to find out a little bit more about what she's been researching. She's been so good at this. So it says, India's national symbols. National animal is the Royal Bengal Tiger. National heritage animal of India is elephant. National mammal of India is Hanuman Langur. National aquatic animal is Ganges river dolphin. And national bird is the peacock. Oh, I'm excited. So let's delve in. There's, she's again treated me to a big pile of parcels. So let's get stuck in to this one. So my first gift is this beautiful, oh my goodness. It's a, um, it's a shrug. Hold on, I'm gonna put it on so you can all see. Oh, look at this, I love it. It's beautiful. I don't know what this is used for, but I'm going to use it as a cover up for the beach. Oh, I'm gonna wear it now, it's lovely. Wow, Janet, good choices. Right, I'm going into the next one. As usual, Janet has excelled herself with the bookmarks. This is awesome. It's a 3D sort of holographic tiger. Wow, it's actually quite scary when it comes at you. I'm gonna put that straight into my book to read now. I love it. So now I'm going for this one. This feels a bit harder, so let's see. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a peacock journal, and I love the fact it's got, oh, it's got lined pages, which is nice, but I love the colors on this, and I love the elastic. This is gonna come in really handy when I start my new job. I love it. Right, there's still two more. Let's see what's in this one. Ah, oh, she must have known that I was gonna love these because she's got me an elephant bag to go in my bag as well. This is similar if you've watched the, um, the one for China where I had a panda bag. And for this, oh, she's picked me an elephant one and it's so cute because what it packs into is stays on your bag like a little picture and then you push the bag back into the elephant. Um, to carry it around in your bag when you need to. So that's perfect because everybody knows you always take one shopping bag in your bag, like a, a, you know, a permanent shopping bag. And then when you actually go shopping, you always need at least two because you never really just get one bag's worth of stuff. So that and the other one are going to be perfect. And now for the final one, let's see what this one is. Oh wow, it's another gorgeous little notebook with elephants on, it's ring bound, it's really beautiful. She's really outdone herself with these really lovely gifts. I'm gonna put this in my book now and I'm gonna come back to you when I finish the book and let you know my thoughts. So I've just finished reading this book and oh, I, it was just what I needed. In the story, we're following 15-year-old Vidya. It's set in British-occupied India in 1940, and through a tragedy in the family, they end up going to live with her father's family, who are very traditional. In this household, the family very rarely sit together unless it's for meals. The men and women are separated, both in their living quarters and in um, their meal times, but they do sort of 
see each other when the women serve the men for meals and the women only get to share a bed with their husband on a sort of rotation basis and we're following how different this is from the, uh, the family life that she's been brought up with. Her father is a do was a doctor and was um, a, a little bit more um, advanced in his thinking and in this new household it's very hierarchical amongst the women and the women spend a lot of time bullying and being mean to each other in this sort of hierarchy. There were many many points that I really enjoyed about this but one of them was that the author has obviously painted this story, painted this picture of this life with some experience and some first-hand accounts. She says in her afterward that um, many things are based on people in her life. She based the Vidya's brother's character on someone in her own life who enlisted. He was from a very traditional family and he enlisted to be in the war and help with the war effort. She drew on real life events like Madras being evacuated in 1942. And she says that Vidya, our main character's personality, is mostly based on herself. But also the things that happen to her are very much taken from from the really strong women in her life who were around at this time. So her mother who used to climb the stairs every evening as an adolescent to sit in the family library and read and eventually to become a lawyer. Something I found really interesting in this book is there was just so much information that I didn't know. There was loads of information here on things that I had no idea about and I found really interesting to learn about. One of them was that um, the Nazi swastika is actually very similar to an Indian Indian swastika. So in the Indian subcontinent the swastika is an ancient religious symbol and the clockwise swastika is a sacred and auspicious symbol in the Buddhist religion. In Hinduism the swastika is called Surya which is a symbol of the sun and prosperity while the counterclockwise swastika is called Swavastika which is a symbol of night or tantric aspects of Kali, one of the Hindu goddesses. So I really enjoyed seeing how the Nazis taking on this symbol that was had such a cultural and religious importance to them, um, how they could be confused and angered by that. I really raced through this, I read it in a day and I really loved that this is a period of history I would normally shy away from. I'm not into World War II books but because this was set in a culture I hadn't heard of um, talked about in this setting before. I hadn't read about India in 1940s and I really enjoyed finding out about this from a different aspect and a different point of view. I loved learning about the Indian culture, the many festivities and celebrations that happened and everything that was involved in in those celebrations. I loved Vidya as a character, she's brave, she's strong, she really fights for what she believes in and I really enjoy that in a strong female main character. I think really my only complaint with this was that it was over too soon and that's not to say that the book wasn't really enjoyable and really well crafted. I don't think it needed any more, I just could read this writer, um, I could definitely read more of this writer so I will definitely be looking out to see if she's written any more. But I gave this one a really strong four stars and I'm really pleased, it just pulled me out of that little mini slump I was feeling with the last book and I'm raring to go for the next one now. So this is book five and country five and check me out in the next one to find out what book six and country six is. Bye for now booktube!